Hi. Uh, I, I want to start by thanking you very much for uh, taking off time to watch my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Willie Katende. I am one of the uh, recipients of the Swedish Institute scholarship for the year 2021-2022. So um, today I am going to be uh, further talking about the uh, letter of reference. And um, in this video, I'm going to be reading uh, an excerpt of uh, my letter of reference for your inspiration and your guidance. Uh, so uh, to be specific, I'm going to be uh, reading you what my referee wrote in, uh, in, in question two that was asked to, to, to him. So uh, this is only for guidance and inspiration purposes. So please do not attempt to plagiarize or copy and paste as it will not be of any use to you. you this, uh, they already have a record of this uh, application of mine. The SI already has a record of this application. So please do not attempt to plagiarize as you, you will uh, lose everything that you are trying to, to do. Your application will be nullified. So please do not dare. Do not dare copy and paste or plagiarize. This is only intended for to inspire you and also to, to guide you on how your referee should be able to uh, go about uh, filling the letter of reference. Um, so I'm going to share. A blank letter of reference. Um, I'm going to share a blank letter of reference so that we can go through uh, question number two uh, briefly. Okay. So, um, this is it for my year. And I'm, I, I, and, uh, I'm hoping that it's the same uh, for the previous year. Uh, this is only for your guidance and inspiration purposes. Okay. Uh, here are the questions for the, here are the questions for the here are the questions for the for your referee to answer about you about uh, your previous uh, experiences with him all her so uh, the second in the, my first video I, I talked about I I read a bit of what my referee wrote in, in for question number one. So for question number two, I'm going to read uh, what my referee actually answered. Okay. And uh, I read briefly. So uh, the question was, number two, question number two was, uh, briefly comment on the applicant's potential to contribute to, contribute to and or drive social changes in his or our context. I repeat the question. 
please comment on the applicant's potential to contribute to earn or drive social changes in his or our context. And uh, my referee responded as follows. Please do not, I repeat, please do not at, one in point, at any one point try to plagiarize this. It will just spoil everything for you. This is what he wrote. I strongly believe the applicant has immense potential to contribute to and drive social changes in his context as a professional in the construction industry, owing to my previous experiences with him. That was the first uh, sentence. The applicant is always inspired to critically think and solve problems affecting society. This is exemplified by the applicant's innovation of a low cost and affordable housing project utilizing local and readily available materials targeting low income earners dwelling in informal settlements to solve a social problem of inadequate housing in our community. So this is what uh, my referee wrote. So uh, you as an applicant, uh, you have to be able to uh, have capacity to show to, to solve uh, social problems, problems that affect your community or your society where you are, where you are living. In, I know you come from different uh, walks of life, different spheres of life. So uh, the ISA is looking for someone who will be able to champion social causes and be able to succeed. So they're looking for someone who can be able to bring up a change in, in the community where you stay, where you, you reside. So this is very important for the SI. So what I wrote is, what I just read is just for inspirational purposes. And I continue to, to read. So then he, he went on, my referee went on to say that in such an instance, the applicant used his expertise and experience as a quantity surveyor to contribute to positive social changes in our community. This is only one way among many the applicant has, exhibit, has exhibited his potential to contribute to and drive social changes in his context as a quantity surveyor. So that's what he wrote, that's what my referee wrote when he was referring me. So as you can see that uh, in in uh, in my in my letter of reference uh, form, the referee uh, tried to show the show problems I was trying to to solve problems affecting society, and in this particular case, I was trying to uh, solve the the social problem of inadequate housing. So as you realize, people are living in substandard houses. Houses that do not meet uh, the necessary requirements. So uh, the standard, they do not meet the standard requirements. So in this particular case, in my context, I was trying to solve um, how uh, uh, an, an urgent housing need in my community. See, and that is that, that in my in one way or another, I was I, I was trying to come up with a solution to an existing uh, problem in my society by coming up with uh, a proposal for uh, low-income earners living in uh, informal settlements. So uh, this problem actually uh, falls among one of the sustainable development goals. So inadequate housing is what uh, one of the sustainable development goals or targets uh, by the by the UN I, as you know the the SI is based all anchored on on the on the ability to to solve uh, to solve uh, social problems in society to, to is anchored on sustainable development goals um, by 2030 by the United Nations. So as a, an applicant for the SI scholarship, you have to be able to, or you must have solved or tried 
to solve a social problem before you apply for this scholarship is very, very important. And this is what my referee was trying to, uh, to refer to because I, in, before I tried to solve that problem of uh, inadequate housing in my community. So it's very important to have been involved in trying to achieve a certain target of the one of the, the sustainable development goals. Okay, so I think uh, that is uh, briefly what I can talk about uh, this uh, letter of reference form. And uh, second question. Yes, thank you very much for uh, listening to me. I encourage you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment, so that you can be able to exchange ideas and so that you can be able to, so that I can be able to help where I can. Uh, bye for now. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. See you.